Hey, don't you recognize me? Yeah, it's me, Ken. Yeah, I know. I, I got an International Harvester hat on and some bibs that aren't faded, but yeah, it's me. Welcome to the secret episode. This episode is so secret that you're not going to know what it's about until the very end, and then you're going to go, dude, thank you, Ken, thank you. So how secret is the episode? Well, it's it's more secret than the secret garden of Siegfried and Roy. It's it's so secret that it's it's clinical strength secret. It's that secret. How cool is it? What we're going to do? Oh, it's cool. It's cooler than the coffee can jig. It's even cooler than the scarf joint jig and uh, it's so cool it's running a neck and neck with remember this one? Oh, I got something in my hand it's so cool that you can't even look at it remember that yeah oh yeah it's <laughs> that cool so hey while you guys are trying to figure out what's in the box I'm going to get to the bench and get to work. So, before you get too perplexed, give me a like below. Because I know you're going to like this. You know you're going to like this. You're psychic enough to know that this is so cool. You're going to like this. You're going to subscribe. You're going to click the notification button. But anyway, what's in the box, man? And her, or whatever. Anyway, I'm going to the bench. See you there. All right, guys. First thing, I'm going to want to get some kind of box like this. And I'm going to want to put lats in the box, going across the box. I want to have about this much room between the lats. And before I put them in the box, I'm going to want to put pegs that are about half the distance between uh, the top of this lat and the bottom of this lat. You with me? And I'm going to glue those in. It's easier to drill those holes before you put the lats in. Okay? So we got a top and bottom to the box. If you want glass at the top of your box, you're going to find a glass that has a piece of plexiglass or something. Or you can just keep it uh, closed. But yeah, you just need a box. Okay, now we are going to paint the box and we are in the top of the box. And we are going to use some oddball carny color that's going to attract your attention okay with me okay next once this is all dry you are going to want to get some of this chalk paint this gray uh shabby cheap artsy fartsy whatever it is and you're going to want to put it on a brush don't have to be a high dollar brush or whatever and then you're going to go and you're going to paint over roughly all that fancy paint job you did now you'll notice that I'm not too careful about what I'm doing here because I don't need the whole thing to be covered what I'm trying to do here is avoid it looking like this is my first day as a vendor at the swap meet anyway you'll get that a little bit later in this exciting episode now you can see that I have taken this gray chalk paint and covered up most of this chick flick teal or whatever color that is right there and I pretty much covered it up here like so we're gonna let that see that that's artistry son all right we are back in the shed and back on the bench and you're probably asking yourself where's the background music sorry I didn't have any Barry Manilow weekend in New England uh, laying around real handy if you know what I mean but anyway back to this project you can see that the chalk paint has covered most of the chick flick teal color and we've got one more step to do before we put on our antiquing glaze. Yeah. Don't covet my stuff here. Anyway, so what we need to do is we need to expose some of that chick flick teal and we're going to do it with this which is 36 grit emery cloth or whatever you want to call it and some finer stuff now this is 120 grit where did i get this yeah from the red 
36 grit emery cloth get in place. That's right. So we're just gonna go along with the rough stuff. Don't you love that sound? It's almost like scraping your teeth on a blackboard. You can go like this, and then you can go like this. There's no real technique here. You just got to get this to come through. Now, you can either do it this way, or you can do it this way on the belt sander. And you can tell there's already traces of the crime scene there. Anyway, let me get this done. I'll pretend I do it the hard way just to make you feel good, all right? Oh my gosh, my bench is falling apart. There's dust all over. Um, I swear, I have literally been working at this for hours. The things I don't do for y'all. Anyway, you want it to look like this. You see that? That is absolutely perfect. It couldn't use anything else. Well, maybe over here a little bit there. Yeah. Perfect. You want it to look like this. Let's go to the next step. All right, we're going to use some more shabby cheek stuff. Um, this stuff's called antiquing glaze. Man, it's funny that the names they won't come up with so they can charge you a dollar for something should cost a dime. But anyway, this looks like axle grease or something. I don't know what it is. That's why I'm not in that business. So we're just going to wipe this all over here like this or brush it on. Yeah, very carefully and cover this whole thing. I think you get the general idea, right? Right, so I've gone all the way around this and put this stuff on like so. Guess what now? Yeah, we're gonna take most of it off. It's a weird project put stuff on just to take it off and make money doing that you know of any other profession like that I don't but look now I'm just gonna wipe this stuff off like this see there I got a spot I can stick my hand on like so go all the way around yeah you saw that this and how to make the episode called old box new all right guys you see this that darkened it up a quite a bit you kind of want that look now I'm all, I'm gonna uh, coat it but I don't want to warm off and use some something's gonna turn out to be shiny in the end because that will defeat the purpose okay. so I'm using a matte finish clear it looks shiny now but it's gonna dry dull and you can see that it's making the contrast here pop man are you not good with all them artsy words that I just made up myself because I watched no I didn't watch any of that that's not true anyway I'll catch up with you a couple coats of matte clear oh yeah we're on hey hey yeah it's me it's me Ken really it's Ken see yeah it's Ken anyway we're done we are done with the secret project and we took this piece of box and we made it all fixed up. It looks old, look at that finish on there. That looks nice, huh? But before we do the reveal, you're probably wanting to know, what's this really all about, Ken? Well, here's what it's all about. You know what you want, right? Now, I've told you not to covet my stuff, but some of you just can't help yourself. But you know what you really want, right? And think about it. You're going to get in your car and you're going to drive three hours or you're going to try to save up the money or whatever. And, uh, yeah, there's some resistance to what you want, right? Uh, you're going to drive three hours. Somebody's going to want to go with you, right? 
And then when you get there, they see a regular looking box and the object of your affliction, affection. People asked me long ago, who's Beverly D'Angelo? She's my affliction. Hey Troy, how you doing buddy? Anyway, back to reality. But anyway, you're gonna walk up to the sales area and they're gonna see that box and what you want is in that box and then you're dead in the water right there, right? But now that I've thought this out for you, I've done all the leg work and all the brain work, right? They're gonna walk up. Instead of seeing that box, they're gonna see this. And they're gonna be like, oh, look at that, that's nice. They're gonna to wanna to buy the box. They're gonna to wanna to buy this box, trust me, and hang it on the wall without even seeing what's on the other side, right? And then you don't have to say a word. They're gonna buy the box, you're gonna get what you want. Um, well, you're kind of going to get what you want, but not really, because what you want is this slide. Yeah, this slide been on the finger of Luther Dickinson, uh, Troy Murrah. Sorry to wear your name out, Troy, but you're just that good. Um, other people, too. So many I can't remember. It's even been in the hand of C6 Steve, who looked at it, handed it back to my wife, and said, that's cool. Time for the big reveal, people. Look at that. Is that the coolest? Aren't you glad you waited? Oh look, there's a blue one right there. Don't worry, they ain't gonna fall off. There's a, there's one cut from Reuben Lacey's place. Oh, it's up there. These are some that I've cut. I got short ones, fat ones, small ones, tall ones, blue ones, green ones, chrome ones. I got it all right here. But you might be saying, well, I can't pull that off just yet, uh, but that's okay because I have the the cool starter kit in the same chick flick teal and whatever else this is shabby cheap colors right here. Look, it's even got ooh, there's another blue one in there. It's not this one, but it's that one. So hey, glad you could join me today. I'm going to go get my disguise off and get back to being Ken for the next episode, and I will see you then.